So I wanted to give a, a quick demo here on how to do a process diagram using ChatGPT using mermaid.js. So one of the reasons why I want to do this is because when we're working on uh, the process accountability chart as a scaling up coach, we like to show the process and how the process interrelates and how we can improve the process. So with that aside, I'm going to give you an example here of a theoretical process. So I'm going to go into ChatGPT version 4 and I'm going to create my prompt. So I'm telling it I have a real estate firm. Uh, I don't, but I'm just giving a hypothetical here. I'd like you to generate a process flow diagram <clears throat> up to 20 nodes. Now, nodes are the points within the diagram. We can set that to whatever number we want. 20 is usually the max that we want. If you follow up a, a theory like how to draw toast, for instance, it, go Google it, watch the YouTube video. But 20 nodes is about max that we want to show. Um, that explains our process from identifying customers to closing the deal and following up with the customer. Please include feedback loops and contingencies. Please use mermaid.js to articulate this. This is an important point. So mermaid.js is a JavaScript library that GPT knows how to use. It's not going to actually create the visual diagram here, but it's going to give us the output that we then take into mermaid and show the visual. So here we go. We're going to have GPT generate this. <clears throat> And what we're watching here is the code getting generated. The graph TB means top to bottom. So this is a vertical diagram it's creating. If you want to change that, you can do a graph left to right. It'll create a horizontal diagram. So we're just going to go with the top to bottom. We can change that later. Um, OK. So it's explaining all the nodes here. OK, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy the code. <clears throat> I'm going to go over here, I'm going to drop it in, and I'm going to sync it. There you go. So it's created a hypothetical diagram in terms of what that process may look like. What I can then do now is I can go ahead and export that as a PNG. Ah, it's behind my visual here. There we go. <clears throat> Looks pretty good to me. Initial contact, qualify the customer's needs. I can go through and I can build this out more. I can modify my prompt to say, give me 40 notes, go into detail for each one of the steps, um, give a explanation on each one of the steps. But this is a great way to go through and create your processes, take them back to the team and have the team go back and modify them so they fit your exact needs.